What's up everyone, my name is Tim and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily add audio visualizers to your video. Alright, to get started, head over to your browser and type in the URL box edit.new and click on enter. You can also click on the first link in the description. Now we're redirected to Veet's online video editor and we can instantly get started. You can choose one of the templates or you can just simply start from scratch. I'm going to start from scratch, so I'm going to upload my video by clicking on upload a file and selecting the clip I want to add audio visualizers to, which is this one. And then I'm going to click on open. Now, after a moment, your video will be imported and uploaded into the editor and we can look back at it. My name is Tim. Uh, I just wanted to say a quick hi to everyone and I hope you're all doing nice. All right, now I want to add audio visualizers to this specific video. So to make that happen, simply head over to the menu on the left and click on elements. And as you can see, you can add shapes, emojis, progression bars, and sound waves. So we want to add sound waves. If you hover from left to right, you can see them all located. And if you want to view them all, you simply click on view all. All right, now you simply select one. I'm going to pick this one. I think it looks pretty cool. And if you play back the video, and I hope you're all doing well. Today was actually a very sunny day. The sound wave is added to the video. So as you have the audio visualizer selected, on the left, you can choose a color. For instance, we can change uh, it to purple and we can change the opacity so it's a little bit more transparent. And if you scroll down, you can actually see the control section. You can change the minimum and maximum amount of decibels interpreted by the audio visualizer. This basically means that the waviness of the audio visualizer will change as you change the minimum or maximum amount of decibels. And on the bottom, you can see the duration, which basically means when the audio visualizer will be initiated and end. Or you can also go to the bottom timeline and find the sound wave layer and simply click and drag on one of the sides to trim it a little bit. Now, as you see the audio visualizer located within the video frame, you can see a couple of options around it. For instance, you can resize it to the side and corner options. You can extend and shorten it, and you can use the rotate option to rotate the audio visualizer. For instance, I can turn it 90 degrees and create a whole different effect with the audio visualizer. Uh, let's say I want to put it in one of the corners. I'm going to shorten it a little bit. And there you go, let's look at it. It was actually a very sunny day in the Netherlands, which is kind of nice, so that looks pretty cool. Now, before I add more audio visualizers to the video, let's say you wanna change the style of this specific audio visualizer. It's very easy, simply head over to the left menu and under style, you can just select the one you fancy pretty much. Let's say this one and let's have a look. Today was actually a very sunny day in the Netherlands, which is kind of nice. And again, you can edit everything. For instance, you can change the color, you can change the opacity, the control and duration of this specific audio visualizer. Now let's add some more audio visualizers to this video. So to make this happen, click on back next to edit sound wave and select the one you fancy. Let's say this one, a round one in this case. Uh, let's just drag it to the left top corner because it's still empty and just let it play. We're all doing well. Today was actually a very sunny day in the Netherlands, which is kind nice, of Nice, looks pretty cool. I nice to share that, so. And once again, you can resize the audio visualizer. You can relocate it like I just did. You can change the color of the audio visualizer, change the opacity, control, and duration. Now I'm gonna add the last audio visualizer as a final touch. So I'm gonna head back again and just simply select the one I wanna add. Let's say this one looks pretty cool. I'm gonna click and drag it to the right top corner because it's still empty. I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees and make it a little bit smaller. There you go, let's play it. Oh, today was actually a very sunny day in the Netherlands, which nice. is kind of miraculous. All right, cool. Now I bombarded my video full with audio visualizers and I'm satisfied and I wanna export my video. So to make this happen, simply head over to export in the right top corner, choose your preferred render settings. In this case, I'm gonna choose HD and click on export video. After a moment, your video is rendered and you can look hey back everyone, at the video. Is Tim, uh, I just want to, and you can see all the beautiful audio visualizers portrayed. Now, if you want to share your video, simply click on the share button below the video. You can copy the link and paste it somewhere. You can edit on your socials or embed your video on your website. Or if you want to download your video straight to your device, simply click on the download button below the video, click on download MP4 and voila. All right, and that's how you add audio visualizers to your video. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck and have a nice day.